Now what's really interesting and useful with this material is that liquid metal has a low enough melting temperature that you can die cast it very similar to aluminum. So, uh, but unlike aluminum, which is kind of like a soft alloy, it's not as strong as like stainless steel or titanium. Liquid metal, when it comes out of the mold, because of those strong atomic bonds, it's stronger than titanium and stainless steel. So that's what's very useful is, you know, it has a low enough melting temperature that you can die cast it like aluminum, but the resulting part comes out stronger and harder than titanium. Now, typically, if you want a, um, a very strong, uh, hard part, and you want to use uh, titanium or stainless steel, you have to uh, CNC machine that part. So you can imagine if you have a part like this, you're going to start off with a big block of material and you have to machine out all those features. But now with liquid metal, all in one step, you can just mold all of those features. And you have a part that's, you know, it's like a heat treated stainless steel uh, all in one step.